Well, the next area blows. Um, I'm just gonna come up here and go through, like, the first area, because there's an NPC I'd like to speak to. Uh, and there's some NPC invaders that I'd like to kill. But this, this next area truly, it's the worst. Uh, so I'm not going to complete it now. I'm gonna come back probably closer towards the end of getting all the other old souls. Or the old one's souls. How nice of her to shove that spear down your throat when she hits you in the perfect spot. Yep. I think really, like truly, I don't think Earthen Peak went as bad as it could have. So keep in mind, we went through Harvest Valley. You could see Earthen Peak. It was like a little castle on the top of a big mountain ridge. Then we took a random elevator straight up. Just keep that in mind. We went straight up from a place that was already at the top. Now somehow we're here. It's a common complaint of this game. But it just makes no goddamn sense why this is here. I don't really care that much. I think the whole idea is, like, Drang Lake is a weird area where, like, time bleeds together. Sort of. Where time, like, starts bleeding together. And does, you know, it's just weird in, in Drang Lake. Um, I think... People, like, dwell on that too much. Like, oh, the world doesn't fit together that well. But the whole idea of Drain Lake is it's like it's a weird interdimensional vortex of weird stuff happening. So I can allow that. Um, there's a human effigy there. I could just go for it and die. Might have to try to get our souls, though. Lucetile's quest line always makes you sad. Yeah, it's a shitty one. Okay, we did it. Okay, now my next step is I would like to try to kill these hostile red phantom NPCs because they're really irritating and getting rid of them now will be will be nice. Uh, this zone is known for being garbage. You'll see why later when I decide to come back to it. But for right now, uh, don't be too concerned about it, because we're not going to spend a lot of time here. Remember Armorer Dennis? He's back! Okay, but seriously, stop it with the... So if we can hit him with some dark orbs, that does... That does, uh, endurance damage as well. Oh my god, the soul spear. Oh my god. Armor Dennis. If you make me fall off the ledge, I swear to god. I don't know what that is. All right, we got a shield. Stop! Stop it here. Come back over here. I don't want to fall into the lava. There's another invader here, by the way, after you open the door. So that's fun. It's a nice soul spear you got there, buddy. Stop using it, though. Okay, stop using soul vortex, please. Oh my god, he's a he's a god. Again, I think it's worth using resources on these NPCs just because once you kill them they don't come back, so. Dude, he's out of stamina. We got him. Fuck out of here, armor Dennis. They also give you effigies, I think. Now you know how the enemies feel when you spam ranged spells at them. Yeah, I can't really argue with that. You're right. Okay, there's a bunch of enemies in here, so we're gonna... Lure them to us. 
My weapon isn't really up to snuff either for this area. I should be really close to being able to get a plus 10 fire longsword. That's my goal. So these Alon Knights are everywhere. They are everywhere. Look at this guy. He's just standing. What, what's, what, what are you doing here, buddy? Not going to not gonna help your buddy here. Strange. Pharos Lockstone. So I'm going to dive into the water. Being Having covered in water gives you a buff so that you are less likely to take damage from... Uh, nice, we open that up. Uh, from fire? I don't know how long it lasts, but basically there's a thing over here that I want to grab. And I don't know how to deactivate these things. I think that might be way later, so I'm going to grab this. Notice we took way less damage because we were covered in water. Then let's go and check what's behind that illusory wall, but I think it's just a shortcut. Nothing special. Then we'll go talk to the NPC, who I think sells a fragrant branch of yore. That's why I wanted to talk to him. Hello? Here, come up here. Let's talk. Can he get back up here? Does he just not know that I'm here, or...? Hmm. Alright. So yeah, this next room... is very notorious. Because there's, like, 10 to 12 enemies in it, and they aggro from a million miles away. So again, I'm gonna come back because this whole zone is god-awful and I'd much rather go to the gutter first. We needed to unlock the guy who does the ladders. Where's the other NPC invasion? I thought there was a second one here. The first time I played through this, I got invaded by two separate phantoms right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let's snag an effigy. So I feel pretty safe. We're gonna... Get the heck out of here. Jabo, now that you know... Oh, yeah. Clearly the enemies believe in honorable 1v1 combat. <laughs> Alright, let's go spend our souls. So we got through Harvest Valley and Earthen Peak and the start of Iron Keep. But again, we're not going back to Earthen Keep until later. Uh, first thing I'm going to do with my souls is go and pay the, the ladder guy to put the ladders in so that I don't accidentally end up spending the souls elsewhere. Wait. You found your way out, too. <laughs> the name's Gilligan. Don't make me say it twice. <laughs> All right. What do you want? I have everything you need. <laughs> oh, by the way, how's the uh how's the stream quality? Is it better or worse than yesterday? Oh, I should have listened to the warnings. This place is flipping mental. Huh? No, I wasn't born here. I'm I'm from a wee bit. I'm from a wee bit out west. That's all. I've seen some rough times. I think I'll settle down for a while. You wouldn't believe the shenanigans that happen in my business. I thought at, at least here in the middle of nowhere, I could stay clear of, you know, my old pals. Oh, don't ask me what happened. Have you no discretion, my old chum? That gaping hole. Okay. It's where the cop... Oh. Anybody else? Just what? exhaust his dialogue. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff at the bottom of the hole. We get it. So let's just set up all three. We don't need to watch him setting up the ladder. Alright. Well. You just find them. 
Yeah, but one thing I noticed, so the FPS is good, but like I noticed some quality issues where there was just it was very uh it just didn't look good. Is there are there is it better today? I increased the bitrate of my uh of my stream and increased the latency slightly. So I just wanted to get a an idea on if it's any better or worse. Okay, let's also go level up our weapons. Still don't have enough chunks. Sunset staff to plus three. That's excellent. Now, we don't need this poison bite ring anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and toss on the... Well, I have to buy it, actually. I thought I had it. Is the is the uh, the spellcasting speed ring, which is over here. Okay. I don't take your teachings lightly, dude, but I have all f I have fallen to darkness, so I guess that's pretty bad. Okay, so this increases... Or shortens, rather, our spellcasting time. We should have enough souls to level up at least once. No Estus Flask shards at all in that place. That sucks. Okay, strength is now to 16. Next, we'll do dex to 12, and we'll be able to use our Roaring Halberd, which is exciting. I guess. Is that exciting? Does she sell chunks? You've been well. No, not yet. Really? She will later. Oh, she sells something. She sells a hex spell. What the hell? Oh, dead again. No. Interest. no. Suit yourself. Little stutter here or there. You can pay for the ladders or use a kitty cat ring. One is more fun and way less expensive. Yeah, that's fine. Either way. Okay, so let's go down the short one. Take a bunch of damage so that we can at least pick up some of this loot. As long as we heal after each fall, we should be okay. I wanted to make sure I get all the loot, too. The ladders are here for the future. It'll be easier to go up and down, because there's more than... There's more stuff in these... Down this... Place. Can we go back up from this one? You can't climb it again? Okay, so I'm gonna... close. Poison moss. A lot, lot of dead people on this one. Uh, I'm... Don't think this is where I want to be, but I'm not 100% sure. Here, we can just sit so we can get our Estus back. Since Fortress didn't have a Firekeeper soul, so that's appropriate, yeah. They're definitely very comparable areas with a bunch of traps and shit. So, we can continue going down. I don't know what this Grave of Saints is, actually. I do not remember. Oh, is this... So these rats are toxic. Pain in the ass. Oh yeah, the cast speed is so much better now. Yeah, Rinskis. I really need more Titanite chunks. I thought I picked up a bunch of them in Harvest Valley. I don't know where they've all gone. So there's a weird boss, I think, that's right through here. I think this is where that is. This is a weird, I think, optional area. But I don't quite remember. Okay, at least we one-shot the rats. Oh, they pet 
they petrify you. There's Pharos Lockstones all along here, but I'm not gonna use those because I don't know what they do and I don't want to waste my my Lockstones. Or Contraptions, Lockstones, whatever, whatever. Stealth ahead. Then try Stealth. I thought a bunch come from behind you. Hey, Harry. Playing some Dark Souls 2. That's what's happening. It's a lot of Pharos contraptions. Again, I don't want to waste my... My Lockstones. So they seem pretty weak to fire, which is good. What I suspect is that the Lockstones close the holes that the rats come out of. But I don't actually know. And it's not worth... It's just not worth the lock stones to do it. I don't know why there's rats back there. That's why there's rats back there. I don't think that this is leading me to where I want to go, but I think it's an optional boss in any case, so that's why I'm doing it. Okay, we came out there. Yeah, that area over there is a, just a very bizarre boss that hopefully we can get through quite easily. There's also a bonfire here? Alright, sure. Alright. Lots of rats. It's like just rats. That's it. There's no actual boss. It's literally just rats. Just be careful to not get petrified and run in a big circle and kill the rats. That's literally this whole boss. I have pretty high resistances because my adaptability is high. So that's good. So one of these rats is tied to the... Is tied to the actual boss meter. We have to find it. This is the one. Okay, that's it. And then they all run away. Again, it's hard to tell what decisions were made for what counts as a boss in this game. <laughs> I mean, it's clever that, like, you get swarmed and you have to figure out which is the real one, but... You know, weird stuff. Don't give up, skeleton. Leave this place, human. We have no time for thy kind. Humans bring nothing but filth. All right. Is that a rat tail, human? Thou'st one of mine rat burrows conquered. This will not go unnoticed. Rejoice, for the right to serve me is now thine. Since thou art human still, permit me ask. Wilt thou thy human soul surrender and pledge thyself to me? Swearest thou by the sweet-tempered sludge that laps at our bosoms? <laughs> I mean, yeah, what could go wrong? We rats now, boys. Thou hast the eyes of one who perceiveth true beauty. Human... Thou mayst serve. Take this ring. It was forged by a human who was once among us. 
the ring draws to thee those who would defile our burrow. Wear the ring whenever thou art near, and destroy those who would dare provoke our ire. I will grant unto thee all thou should so desire. I prithee serve with a true rat's honor. <laughs> what a weird thing. Speak thy mind. Okay, so what do you even sell? Weird. My servant, there has been much. Okay, let's just exhaust the dialogue. Knowest that I know. My servant, I am merciful. Go then, my servant. <laughs> so, I don't plan on staying in this covenant. I just, uh, I'm just joining them all to get the rings. Uh, nice, Pharos Lockstone. Actually, I think this is where I want to go, because this leads to the doors of Pharos, doesn't it? Okay, and you know who's in the doors of Pharos? Gavlan Wheel. Gavlan Deal. <gasps> that uh, that crystal lizard, we must kill it because I think it drops a dark stone and uh, we can infuse our staff. Traitor to the sun, bro. Yep. Yeah. Solaire would be ashamed. Luckily, it's not a far run, but we did lose humanity because I am stupid. I, will s I think definitely at this point, 50% of my deaths have been falling. Easily. I would say definitely half. Which really sucks. Let's be a little more careful. Okay. Okay. So this just connects with an area where there is a... This simply just connects with the bottom area where you'd come out if you were trying to get to the gutter anyway. Pretty sure. This might be our only opportunity to get that. Wow. He's a god. I actually did it. I think we can get up to there later. Holy shit. Fuck out of here, dude. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> get up. Oh, bone dust. I didn't realize this was down here. Hello, sir. I will fight you in the water because I must. Ooh, nice delay to your attack. That's how you trick people. That's how you trick them. Cyan's gauntlets. Sublime. Liar ahead. I don't think so. Alright. So this has been very lucrative so far. Got rid of the Royal Rat Authority? Vanguard? Whichever one is all the small ones. We have to come back down here to spawn that Crystal Lizard, though. Keep in mind. Now I think... This is the gutter. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is make my way down through all this crap. Let's make sure we get everything along the way. Um, I'm going to make my way down through all this crap, get to the bonfire in the gutter, and then I will warp back so that I can get that extra chest and the crystal lizard. That's the plan, at least. I am taking risks every time I just fall off the ledges like this, so it makes sense that I am just dying, but alas. We also probably have enough souls for one or two levels. Gravity is the true final boss of the Soul series. Certainly seems like it. 
Certainly feels like that. Just make sure there's nothing else to grab here. I don't think so. Some blood stain right here. That's harrowing. Token of spite. That allows us actually to join a different covenant, which I might go do just to get a ring. Oh, God. So you may wonder why are you attacking the statues? Because they shoot poison like a bunch of fucking assholes. So it's very important to do this. Yeah, like that. I may actually put on the poison bite ring for this. Not a bad choice. Also, there's a lot of, there's creepy ambiance here where there's like a heartbeat that you can hear. It's just very creepy. Prisoner's Tatters. So I think there are actually two fog doors in this area. It's just got to find them all. Am I stuck? I think I'm kind of stuck. Nah, wasn't really stuck. That was the only way to go, though. There are so many things to light in this. Oh, God. There are many, many things to light here, so we'll be doing that all later. I understand it's very dark. My plan is to come through this area just holding a torch the whole time, because I don't really need a shield. Try jumping. I would like to get to the bonfire, but I think it's above me now, actually. This place sucks. This place in Black Gulch. Yeah, I agree. Not a fan. Uh, I don't mind Black Gulch because it's really short. But otherwise, just really irritating. So keep this place in mind. This is where we can come to to get Havel's Ring sometime in the future. I'm not going to do it now, though. I need to figure out how to get to the bon... All I want to do is get to the bonfire so I can warp out of here. Uh, we'll come back here later, and I'm going to light it up like all hell. But I need to get to the bonfire. And I don't know if there's an easy way back to it from here. <laughs> I've failed. Huh. Dark Pyromancy Flame. So Dark Pyromancy Flame is deceptive. These, I think, poison? Or something. Um, Dark Pyromancy Flame scales with your... how hollow you are. So it might seem like Dark Pyromancy Flame would be good... Because it would scale off your dark stat? No, it scales with how hollow your character is. Just to reiterate, so don't, uh... Don't level it up thinking it's something that it's not. These pots cause weapon degradation. You're going to have to progress through the next area if you want to get out of here. Well, oh, crap. Luckily, the enemies in this area are not challenging. It's just navigating it that's a pain. Okay.
What better time to start than now? I also have an hour and a half on the torch, so that should be good enough. Dark Pyromancy is a high-risk way of playing. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good way to look at it. I could Homeward Bone out of here. You're absolutely right, David. I probably should, but I'm already far enough in that I might just try to make my way to the end. I don't think there's a separate boss for the, uh, the gutter. I think it's just the fog door takes you to Black Gulch. And that's where I'm going to summon Lucetiel for the final time. To help me with that boss, just to finish up her quest. The boss is very easy in that area, so... And then I'll probably... I'm going to bonfire Ascetic and kill him again. Then I, will I won't even have to level Dexterity if I do that. There's a ladder here, or I could jump. Oh, okay, alright, alright. Let's just go up. I don't want to risk jumping at this point. It'll be a pain to get my souls back if I lose them here. Alright. Twinkling Titanite's great. Smooth and Silky Stone is decent. Human Effigy's good. Smooth and Silky Stone. Fragrant Branch of Yore, that's what I'm talking about. I need that stuff. I need all that stuff. Uh-oh. Now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. So we came up here. Come over here. Probably drop right down here. I actually think I know where I am. This is good. As long as you know that you can destroy the statues, this isn't that bad. Like, just destroy the statues anytime you see them. Make sure you kill them. It's absolutely worth it every time. Come on, buddy. I don't have my staff assigned to the right hand, so I just won't use it. Whoa, look at this guy. I see a, a gentleman up there. Let's just go ahead and reassign my staff real quick. There we go. So now we can make it happen. There are a lot of these guys. Oh, down here and they do a lot of damage. When they've got, when they're using that uh, dark transfused, infused weapons. I actually think I'm going the right way. This is actually the way to get out of this zone. Surprisingly, so. We might just end up skipping the gutter bonfire altogether. Obviously, I'll go back and get it, but. Oh, yeah, I see you're talking about the dark buff, buff weapon. You're absolutely right. Fire guys aren't a joke either, really. Is there anywhere for me to, like, drop? There's so many secrets in this area, it's really hard to keep track of it. I ha I'm going to have to go through this whole area a second time, and I will. I absolutely will later. Not right now, though. I, I just want to get through it. Okay, there is a way to get up there as well. That's not what I wanted to do. See how much damage that does. It's actually insane. Now, lighting the torches doesn't really do anything here. I'm just doing it because I like to do it. Poisoned. Let's just moss it. Enemies are coming to me. I really need some Titanite chunks. I need to be able to kill these enemies in one hit. Which I can do with my staff. That's good enough. Okay. 
keep wanting to make a, gu a gutter joke, but nothing good is coming to you. <laughs> I understand. It's the struggle, man. Alright. We're basically lighting the way to the exit. So here come more guys. They're just going to come up behind me, so I guess we'll continue. See, we're very, very close to the fog door. This is the right way to go. That's one of the explodey guys. Again, those guys will still come up behind me, so I can't forget about that. I think the floor breaks in the middle here, so let's be careful. Let's open the full path, and then we can come back and do all that later. Oh my god, they're here. No, 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 don't fall. There's more bugs, too. They degrade your weapons. It's okay, we were only in it for like a hot second. Oh, okay. This is, uh, it's pretty intense. Not that intense, but intense enough to be a little scary, I suppose. We're getting some torches, which is good. The, just the ambient noise of the heartbeat is creepy. See, I could just fall down there and go right through the fog gate. Let's see what's through here real quick. If you stand in that again, it degrades your weapons. Or, or all your gear, really. It's a pain in the butt. If you if you were actually using a torch, you wouldn't hold it right in front of your face like this. You actually would be holding it behind you or off to the side. Doing it like this basically blinds you. Yep. Alright, I guess we should just... Drop here. There, that's where Mummy Man was this whole time. Try attacking. Really hate those stupid statues. They are the worst. I don't know what that is, but I hate it, so it will be destroyed. We can put the torch away for now. You can see how dark it is now that the torch is gone. Ah, that was a nice little hop, buddy. Now, I don't know what this is. It's just a giant weird bug thing. Can someone explain to me what this is? And, like, what killing it does? I'm not going to get close to it. I presume it would smush me with its legs if I try to get close. Alright. God, I have so many souls. I want to get out of here. Poison moss. Might face weapon degradation here pretty soon if we're not careful. Getting a lot of poison moss. This is good. The next area has even more poison. Okay, yeah, so what is the bug? What is that big bug thing? <laughs> Standing in the mist will cure poison at the cost of equipment durability. It does nothing. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. 